Hello Doraemon, welcome back to my channel. So thank you so much for your support and you people are following me like continuously and I can see people who are clearing IRAs with my videos and I'm so overwhelmed to hear that news and congratulations for people who have cleared and watching my videos and all the best if you're going to clear IRA in the future. So let's get started with another question. So for this video, I have the most recently asked, as you know, the IRA is happening every week and we'll be getting previous questions every week and I'll be solving that for you so that you can learn from those and crack your next IRA. So let's get started. So I have 14th of a IRA question. So to talk about this question, it may seem like very difficult because just reading the question you can see write a unix command to print the count of mobiles in each brand along with the brand and price so what is usually needed over here is you have to create a dictionary but many of us we didn't learn about how to create a dictionary so this video i'm making you to know like if you know the concept of making dictionary in unix this code is just a piece of cake it don't even take like oh like seven to eight lines that's it so let's learn about that question so just reading the question we have to print the count of mobiles in each brand and the format of the output should be like this the brand name and an iphone and the count of that brand name in the list so what we are going to do here is we have to just uh, create a dictionary with the key values of these brands which is Samsung, Sony, Apple and Nokia and we have to count how many brands are there like for in Samsung there are two mobiles and for in Sony you will have two mobiles for Apple it is one and for Nokia it is one so we are going to start with our awk command as we always do let's start it with awk command and here we are going to print like begin and here we are going to put our field separator so if you're following my videos you know what is a field separator here for like separating the columns we'll be using some symbols instead of lines so we are going to specify that in the double quotes and until then we got our begin part complete and then now we are going into the loop part so in this loop part as you can see here the output is not printing the header of the table so this is not required so we are going to m omit it by using nr greater than one if you have been following my videos you know what is nr greater than one if not i'll link that video in the cards above in the right corner you can click on the video and view it and Let's keep this part like what here I'm going to do to create a dictionary is simply a of we want the brand names to be stored and the count of each brand. So here I'm just going to put dollar two, which means here brand is in second column. As you can see, brand is second column. This is ID is column one and brand is column two and model is column 3 and year of manufacturing is column 4 and price is column 5 so here i'm just going to put a of dollar 2 plus plus so you will not have an idea what this one line of code will do so i'm going to show you what it can do so here in the end part i'm going to print this array and let's see so usually how we print array is for i in a and if you have been following my videos longer i would have seen this in one video to how to create dictionary in bash so this is a format of creating dictionary if you want to count something so if you want something to be added then we'll use a of dollar two is equal to so what this does is i'm going to just print i and a of i so now i'm going to run it I have already pasted the input so that we don't get any error. We usually get it in this part. So what I did here is I just kept that and we are going to just uh, do this here. Yeah, and 
there is one more extra braces which needs to be removed and now I am running it so I want to show you guys this error like what is this error over here I got is arc and close to this begin is there so if you get like you don't get any idea on this error when you run it on your exam so I'm just giving you an hint of giving this after arc you should give a space and after that enclosed in single quotes this whole code should be there as you can see I've enclosed even the brackets within these single quotes and after that we should have the began and after we should leave a space and then the fs and after that close the braces and this nr will be outside the braces inside it write the code which you're what you're going to do with in the looping part and then write the end end should be in capital and after that we are going to just print it now i'm going to run it and yeah we almost got our output so this is as easy so i wanted to show this as a video because you guys can have an idea on this thing and to ignore we'll be using nr greater than one and i think like i'll as predicted last time the IR equations were a little tough for python and i don't know how many people noticed that and how many people solved it it is actually one simple thing which is hidden in the question which i'll be coming up with in the next question the video which is going to be for python and we'll go through it in that situations i've already showed how to handle those situation if you are not able to even solve a question I have also given ways how you can handle to get a, a pass mark and then also you can get incentive. So if you have not watched that video, I will be also linking that video in the, lock, in the cards on the right top corner. So you can click on the link and view the video. So now let's continue with this question and in the hint and what they have said is in the output display the brand of the mobile and count in each brand in ascending order of the brand. So here we are going to sort the list which we are having in ascending order of the brand. So it actually it should be arranged in ascending order of these alphabets. So it is as easy. You might have guessed what you are going to do. So it is just a sort command. And don't forget to pipe it. Pipe it and then now I am going to run it. And yeah. So it is almost same. We are just missing an iPhone. So previously I have given brackets over here. So when you are printing two values from an array, the bracket is not required. When you want to input something like an iPhone or a colon, then this would be useful. Now I am running it. And yeah, the question is solved. So here there is no another case given as the mobile or brand not available because there is no possibility. We are just going to count the brand and uh, the number of uh, phones available in that brand so it is like a one way question which can even pass four test cases it is very easy question so guys please go through the videos and learn something so it will be easy for you to at least crack your ira with 55 marks so yeah that's it for this video and i have a next big, big announcement for IRA which I'll be revealing in the next videos. So I'll see you in the next one and keep learning and keep rocking. I'll see you guys soon and as the IRA is like close to the edge, we are going to posting videos back to back. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I post the video. And if you liked and found my videos useful please hit the like button and that motivates me to put a more of videos and comment down if you have any questions this question will be available in the link down below in the description so that you can go through it and practice it so that you perform well in the ERA yeah so done for the video guys I'll see you in the next one bye bye